Hello and welcome to another video on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. This video is part of a series of MuleSoft video tutorials where I'm covering different topics related to MuleSoft integrations. We will see in this video how we can do the integration between MuleSoft applications and Datadog and how we can perform all the logging directly into this cloud-based platform. Let's look into the topics that are going to be covered in this video tutorial. First of all, I will have a high level overview of MuleSoft uh, data, Datadog logging and I will give you some explanation why exactly it is needed and what is the significance of logging into Datadog. And then we will have a demonstration where I will be implementing a simple solution in AnyPoint Studio and I will do the needful configuration and it will, I, it will be integrated with Datadog so that the logs can be seen in real time in Datadog. So before we go to the major steps that are going to be covered in this tutorial, let's first have a high level overview of MuleSoft Datadog logging. Whenever you implement any of the solutions in MuleSoft, logging is always very important and very critical because all the pictures, all the real picture of your application can be seen in terms of debugging as well as in terms of uh, error tracking through the logs. So the way you are maintaining your logs and the way you are doing the logging from your application is very important and that plays a very important role to make sure that all your applications are implemented in a way that uh, in, the, in, the subs in the future whenever there are any issues, those issues can be tracked and any of the information that is required can be easily uh, fetched and searched from the logs. When you are implementing your solution in MuleSoft, uh, by default uh, in the Cloud Hub, uh, if you are using um, based on uh, implementing and deploying it in the Cloud Hub, you can have the logging directly uh, in, in the Cloud Hub as uh, MuleSoft uh, AnyPoint platform does provide you flex options that you can have your logs directly over there. But there are certain scenarios and certain limitations that you need to keep in mind for uh, because of those you will have to uh, think of some externalized uh, options of doing the logging. For example, uh, if we talk about MuleSoft uh, internal or its built-in logging functionality, uh, there you have limitation that you uh, the, the level of uh, functionalities that are provided to you are the level of flexibility that you have for the logging purposes solely depends and solely uh, uh, relies on the type of subscription that you have. So if you have a platinum or titanium subscription, based on that, the functionalities that you have might be different for an another subscriber we subscribe to a different uh, subscription model. Secondly, there can be uh, scenarios where you want some added functionalities uh, which are only provided by some external uh, logging or observability platforms like Datadog because uh, platforms or cloud uh, services like Datadog are meant for this type of services or this type of functionality. And they have some added functionalities which are specifically over there. So in this type of situation, you want to make sure that you uh, are able to integrate your MuleSoft integration projects or MuleSoft flows with the Datadog directly so that all of the logging can be done over there. So in this type of situations, you want to uh, have this functionality implemented and that's what we are going to see in this demonstration. And the steps that we are going to perform is that first we are going to create a, an account in, in Datadog. I will show you how you have to create an account and if you have already an account, how you can get the API key. Because API key is needed for you when you are going to implement your integration from the MuleSoft to Datadog. Second, uh, we will have to create, implement a project in MuleSoft. I will create a simple project in AnyPoint Studio where we will be uh, seeing that what are the necessary configurations in terms of HTTP appender that we need to do in log4j to the XML because and the implementation that we do and the way uh, all the logs are pushed from your Mule application to the Datadog are, are agent-based uh, uh, approach. So in this agent-based approach, uh, that uh, integration between your Mule application and Datadog takes place uh, based on the configuration that you do in log4j2.xml and using the API key, it pushes your logs directly into Datadog and then you can see it directly from the Datadog application or Datadog mobile app. Then we will see that uh, how we can add a logger directly into the flow. That's the simple approach as we do normally, uh, we add logger and by default what happens is that when we add a logger, the logs become available in console directly uh, in our AnyPoint uh, studio and then when we deploy it into the cloud hub, then it becomes available in the, in the logging functionality that is available 
logging feature that is available in AnyPoint Studio. And then we will see that how we can, instead of uh, logging it into that, we can log it directly into uh, Datadog. Then we will run the project and we will observe the logs uh, in the real time in Datadog. In the next step, what we will do is that instead of running it directly from the AnyPoint Studio, we will deploy it into Cloud Hub. And once we deploy it into Cloud Hub, I will also show you that how you can disable the Cloud Hub logging so that all the logs directly go only to Datadog and then we will observe it from there. So now let's uh, jump into the demo and see all these things in real. I have already created a project with the name Mule Data Dog and I did this just uh, to save some time so that we have uh, this tutorial uh, not too much lengthy. So the first step that we have to do is of course to do the configuration in log4j2.xml but before that we need to uh, uh, make sure that we do have an API key and we do have an account in Datadog. For that purpose, uh, I will go to uh, the browser. So the account that you can create for Datadog is uh, on this link, datadoghq.com. So once you go to this website, then you have an option to create a free trial account as well, which you can create and it's valid for 15 days. And once you create this account using this free trial option, then you will be able to get the API key. Creating an account uh, for the Datadog is very simple and straightforward. I'm not going to do that because I have already created an account, but simply you can click on this free trial. You have you will have some options to fill uh, fill the form and the required information. And once that is done, then you will be able to log into the account after verification. So once you log into your account, then what you can do is that you can go to uh, your account and you can go to organizational setting and then you can go to API key and you can just copy your API key. So I have already copied my API key and put it over here in, in, in my notepad. So this API key we will be using. So this is the first uh, preliminary step that you have to perform. And once that step has been completed, the next step is that you have to do the necessary configuration in log4j2.xml file. If you don't know, you can find it the path to this file here. Let me show you. So this log4j2.xml file is available under src main resources and uh, you can see that uh, the file is available. So the first thing that you have to do is that you have to define the appender for uh, Datadog. So under the appenders, you have to add this whole uh, bunch of information. I will put this in the description and let me explain this here. So basically it's an HTTP appender and I'm giving it a name as Datadog. And then it has a URL, this URL is the URL which you need to provide where this these logs are going to be pushed. So it is http uh, hyphen intake.logs.datadoghq.com slash api slash v2 slash log. So this is the API uh, which is going to be internally invoked and then based on the agent configurations, information is going towards uh, Datadog. And then you provide some additional parameters like host, uh, which is uh, the host that from where you are going to push the logs. And then you have to provide the uh, DD source and Datadog source where you are, I'm, I'm providing it as Mulesoft. And then the service where you can provide the name. So I'm giving the application dot name as a service. And then it has an option that you can provide some additional tags like which is with the name DD tags. And here you can provide some tags uh, which can be useful when you are going to do the filter operations for your logs from the Datadog. So in this case, I'm just providing sys colon env, which is that uh, the variable for environment and then you have the pro uh, some additional properties uh, one of them is the content type which i'm specifying as uh, application slash json and then you have to provide the api key api key which i already explained to you that you need to copy from your datadog account uh, that you will have to provide over here i'm providing here hard coded but of course uh, when you are going to implement your real projects then you will have to make it uh, in a proper properties file and it should be secured and it should be masked. But for the sake of simplicity here, I'm just providing it directly. Once you have created this appender with the name Datadog or whatever name you are providing it, the next step that you have to do in this file is you have to provide it under the async root. So here, uh, if you see by default, there will be already one appender ref with the name, uh, with, which will be referencing to the file appender but you have to add this reference to the Datadog appender based on the name that we have given for the uh, appender that you have added on top of this. So here I gave it the name as Datadog. So I'm just doing the referencing over here. So these are the simple things that you have to do in log4j2.xml. So once you have configured all these things, then the next, uh, once you will implement your uh, integration project or um, message flows, and if you add any loggers, 
then those loggers are going to log your information into Datadog based on this appender reference provided that you have all the information given correct and you have a correct API key. So I have already created a very simple flow here. If you see, it is uh, based on a listener and this listener is listening on localhost uh, 8081, uh, which is the default configuration I have set it and nothing fancy. And it is uh, going to receive a request here and a query parameter uh, with the name name will be received and that query parameter I'm just logging here. So whatever value will be coming in this query parameter, I will be logging that using this logger. And then I'm just sending a hard-coded response with an ML with the, with, in the JSON format where the only element is message and hard-coded value is done. So pretty straightforward implementation and now we are going to run this project first in the AnyPoint Studio and we will see that how it works. Okay, I'm going to run this project so it will take a bit of time uh, to load into the embedded runtime and once it will be uh, executing then we will hit this API using the browser or any of the client and we will see how the logs are being pushed through this agent towards Datadog. All right, so we can see that the status is deployed. This means that the project has uh, is running already in the embedded runtime. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to hit the service. So I'm going to provide some query parameters. So localhost colon a081 and uh, slash demo because that's uh, how I have specified the path and in the name if I give it tutorialspedia and hit it you can see I received a response which, say, which state message done. So now let's go to uh, Datadog and here you are going to select this go to option and we will choose logs. So we are going to search for the logs and we are expecting that the information that we have uh, just sent it should get logged into this data dog. So we can see that tutorialspedia has been logged over here. If we try to hit it multiple time, like subscribe tutorialspedia YouTube channel. If now I send this request to this uh, endpoint, I'm expecting another log getting uh, pushed towards the data dog and it should be made available over here. We can see that another log entry has been added and if you click on this you can see the whole details about this so in this way in a very simple and easy manner we are able to send our logs directly to our data dog and data data dog is uh, quite rich in terms of its features and functionalities as you can see here we have a lot of filtration options available of course uh, you can always add additional filter options using the dd tags and it has uh, many other features where you can uh, do the monitoring and uh, some of the useful information can be retrieved from the logs. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to see how we can do the same thing and deploy this using uh, into the runtime in the cloud hub and then see how we can do the logging from there as well for the deployed application. So in order to deploy this you have two options of course you can directly do the deployment from here using this AnyPoint platform and then you can do the deploy option. The other option is that you can just uh, export it and then direct and locally you can uh, open your uh, runtime and then you can deploy it. So for that you have to do is any point studio project to mule deployable artif archive. So if I choose this option and if I save it in my desktop. So a project has been saved. So now what I will do is that I will go to uh, runtime. Let me refresh it and I will choose this option deploy application. Let me choose the file and I will choose this. I'm not going to make any changes other than specifying a name test app. So it doesn't meet the requirements so it should have only letters in lowercase so I, I cannot put uh, T capital. So let me write it as tutorialspedia app okay the next thing i want to do is that under the logging i just want to uh, uncheck this option of enable application logs because uh, i just want to make sure that all the logs directly go to datadog only and the next uh, step i want to do is that under the properties i just want to specify some properties if you see here 
I have some properties uh, specified application.name and then environment. So these I want to specify over here. So I will give it an application.name. So let's give it a name as test app over here. You, ideally, you should have the same name as the application name, but just for the sake of uh, simplicity and just to explain to you how you can uh, provide properties over here, I'm giving it like this. ENV, I'm going to give it as development. So now if I click on deploy application, it will get deployed into the runtime and once it gets deployed i will get the public url and then we will see how we can hit that url and make sure that all the logs are going towards datadog let's go to uh, dashboard and see the status right now it's not running because it's applying the changes so in the meanwhile i'm just copying this link and instead of localhost colon 8081 i'm going to provide this link so now I will be sending the request to, to uh, the URL that has been provided by this application uh, in the runtime. And here I'm going to provide some other parameter. So I will write something like, like Cloud Hub Tutorial Speedia. So now you can see that uh, this application is in the running status. If you go to the logs, you will see that uh, logs are disabled here because we have configured the logs for the data dog only so let's now try to hit the service and we got the response as done and this means that uh, we should be expecting some logs over here in the data dog and we can see that uh, we received the log information uh, from the from the service with the name test app because this is the name that we provided in the properties when deploying the application through the runtime and this is the uh, query parameter that was provided cloud hub tutorials media and if you see here uh, now under the service you have the option of the filter uh, based on the service that you provided with the name test app and if we go down we should be able to see the environment as well so development environment which we provided is also available here so we now got some additional options to do do the filter on these logs so that's it from this simple tutorial about uh, integration of MuleSoft application with Datadog. I try to keep it as simple as possible just to explain you the basics and uh, you can use these options and then do more complex scenarios. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, write in the comment section and for more information and for more videos and tutorials, you can subscribe to my channel and also you can visit my website tutorialspedia.com. Thank you very much.